Okay, let's get a little more practice solving real-world problems with linear equations. Uh, Marcel here rented a moving truck for the day. He says he only remembers that the rental truck charged $40 a day and then some number of cents per mile. He knows that he drove 46 miles and that the final bill before tax was $63. We need to find the amount per mile that the truck rental company charged and then we'll write an equation in point slope form and then use that equation to figure out how much it would cost to rent the truck if you'd driven 220 miles. So let's start with the information we know. Um, we'll s we know that he drove 46 miles and that the final bill was $63. So if we were to just sort of sketch out visually here um, an equation where x the x-axis is the distance and the y-axis is the cost then that information we just heard, the 46 miles and $63, that would represent a point on this graph at, let's just go by tens here, 10, 20, 30, 40, so 46 and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So 46, 63 would be one point here. 46, 63. And then we also know that when he had driven no miles at all, that since there was a $40 a day charge at zero miles, he actually already owed $40. So there's another point right here at zero forty. So now we kind of have a feel for our information. We can see already that there was, there was kind of a line going across here this way that would represent the total cost of the truck and we should be able to write our equation of point slope form using our two points. So remember that point slope form is y minus y0 equals m times x minus x0. So we'll plug our information in here. We have two y points, 63 and 40. So we'll do 63 minus 40 is equal to uh, M, which is what we need to solve for at this point, and 46 minus 0. So we'll do our subtraction here, and we have 23 is equal to 46 minus 0, of course, is 46, so 46M. Then we can divide both sides by 46. Cancel here, 23, 46 is 1 half. So m is one half, and then we can write our equation using either point. But it'd be easier to write it using one that has both values here. So we'll do um, y minus 63 is equal to one half of x minus 46. Now, obviously, we could use the other point too if you like, just for grins. We could do y minus 40 equals one half of x minus zero, so just x. So actually that one would be easier to use, wouldn't it? So now we need to solve for what happens if it drives 220 miles. Well that says our x value is 220, right? So we get y minus 40 equals one half of 220. And half of 220 is 110. So y minus 40 equals 110. So add 40 to both sides plus 40 and we get y equals 110 plus 40 or y equals 150 dollars. So our equation in point slope form is either of these two right here. Either one is fine, either this one or this one. And then our final value $150 if he had driven 220 miles.